dead zombie right. war. He is clearly a zombie and about. walks with dignity despite his age and attire. He sees a cat that he knows right before he sets to work. He produces a wizard's tool known as the street jargon. And with a practice angling of the arm, begins to siphon away the clarity made for mankind's ice. bulbs. Magical deeds are afoot, dear readers. Magical darkness, a must. The atmosphere complete, the cat, now protected by shadows, transforms into who else but Professor Hardcastle McCormick, an old up, friend and ally of Dumbledore the half gay. He is truly a great wizard. Hello there. And possesses many a skill Hello. that might yeah, aim gotcha. in tonight's random air. <laughs> they speak gravely of tonight's horrible decision. And dear readers, trust me, their work tonight is devious. What sucks. are they to do? Are they really going to go through with the right now? Ambush. Joyce is clearly fire, in powerful fire, hands fire. as Dumbledore ponders with his gigantic. They're in the base! They're in the base! Just then, a light approaches in the cloud. Shredding! Oh, get out of my base! There's no other. You get out of your base! Oh, Only if you do it first, was I'm already out. You killed me. Then I'll get I'm in your mom's face. Alright, you didn't kill me. The other guy killed me. He is Dumbledore. I'm out. I'm right outside your base. Come on, do this. Help, there's some medic in the base. Oh, with the guy is gonna blow my sentry. Come down here. I'll let you into my base if you let me into your base. Oh no! Out from his wings. Blue. 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 Powerful baby. In a sentry here. Dumbledore accepts the swaddled child like the delicate button of an atomic bomb. Watch it, scout. No false moves. Hardcastle in the corner pleads with Dumbledore not to go through with his plan. What plan, you ask? Well, they are going to leave this veritable weapon of the gods. This paradox of babiness and power right here. <laughs> in Muggle's doorstep. But shh. Says Dumbledore to the baby, yeah. and shh, he says to the lady. Gotcha. As Hagar gnashes his teeth in inner conflict and almost drowns. You're gonna stop at 18 kills and never get another. I'm sorry. His master Dumbledore tells him. What is it? Actually, I've heard it before. No. It's a pangiri. And the baby is left. Sink. The baby with the most telling of stars. The baby that is the seed of power. The baby that is the inheritor of the horrible, hoary hammer of the gods. Terry, the wizard who is destined to vanquish all evil. And if he wish, bring it back again. Harry Potter and the sorcerer start their own. Look at me! Chapter 2. Harry Potter wakes to the sound of his evil aunt, we have taken the banging on his bedroom's tiny door. How did he pick up her? He pick up them how the church was there. He barely keep from incinerating them with any number of spells he keeps hidden way up his sleeve. Harry's room is cool though. He's clearly made the most of it. Unlike his cousin, Roast Beefy. Whose birthday happens to be today? Let's move the it cousin up. has no idea of the power he is toying with. He is indeed yeah, a mean you. little puke who is borderline retarded and must shout <laughs> moistly every stupid sentence he manages to piece together. Move it up! Move it up! As Harry prepares breakfast, totally magic-free and labor-intensive, his vomit-inducing uncle giggles more. Looks on as the evil mother does the blind man birthday dance with roast beef. The living room turns There's out a to be full of pressure for the non plus roast beef weeks. Of course, it is never, never, never enough. Chunks of demand splatter on his parents' faces. Harry must stay calm and repress his urges of igniting the house in a demonstrative fireball, ending the life of these three little kids. Our wolf. That's what I'm talking about! Hello! 
Today oh, is what? <laughs> oh, yeah. And on the way, Uncle Pig is back. Then the people suggest the beating to Harry if he sees yeah, any don't I I suggest I just respond. It looks like Uncle Zolporker has some <laughs> idea of our heroes. Deadpool, we seem to be doing this a lot. I'm dying here! His face. They got a sentry up there! The family oh, seems to be happy son. with nothing. Naughty, naughty spy. The giant Burmese, leopard eating snake, vast hippopotamus faces like a pole. And of course, they what? want it to dance. But not out of here. The sweet wizard in remission is trying to be Having drink himself, eating leopards, boring, and dead fish. Let me start coming. You know, Harry can actually speak with this creature. Will his talents ever stop emerging? Harry, with the social grace of a saint, is related to the horse. Can't be appreciated to me. It is a beautiful moment indeed, and Harry for once feels in tune oh, with the natural universe. This snake has no parents, he is dangerous, here. and it is beautiful. Harry sees himself here in this snake. Like looking at his image. No, seriously, in the you all suck. It is a perfect moment. The custom roast Beezy Wee notices the matches and runs over this to spoil it. Harry totally loses it and Frank throws Beezy to it with a glass he runs. What the hell is your wow. No! No, he directs itself it's out it and is thanking Harry as he yeah, slithers hey, into. The yeah, nightmare yeah, hearts of all the Damn that door, that crockett had your name on it, Dash. Everyone is afraid of this beast but Harry. Of course, Harry Yo, seems to be part of the natural universe now. And what do you know, dear reader? Providence must have cast a glass be back spell. Cause take a look at the zoo's new acquisition. It is a play. A tragic comedy. The lament of roast beefy, oh weefy! Ha ha! The family porkins is hit palpably with shame. Yes, Harry, do laugh yes, on it. Laugh now. right yes. in their unthinkable right. faces. Oh, shit. Chapter 3. As the Hawk family enters their home to regroup after Harry's formidable blow, Uncle Porklaps tries to tear Harry's wig off before remembering that Harry is a boy and probably his hair is real. No more magic! His throat grasps without its usual bravery. Realizing his throat is What the hell is this story about? Exit. It's like literally the Harry Potter story, like told through like crazy matters. That's he what it is. Like an exile here in this world. He feels alone. Okay. And Harry going about his innumerable chores. Picks up the mail. Like that's exactly what it is. Pulled over at the discovery of the letter. Connection is trying to be made. Somebody needs me. Sorry, Dash, but I really need to catch up to Harry Kodiak. Harry tries to conceal his letter, nope. but cousin Ragtime Roast Beefy thinks that That's Harry has a possible cookie or wafer and takes away the letter before Harry move can it up, move it up. Uncle Pigums inspects the letter as okay. he can with those eyes, and a phantom of fear crawls across his face. God damn it, Kodiak. Harry wonders. I'm killing dudes! Ha, I took your point. We're in 15th now, bitch. A miraculous no! Birds from every breed and fashion begin to drive the working chips home. Unacceptable! Yes. Out around here. You have to sleep one of these the days. Was beginning to feel the pressure. Harry in a spiral of depression. Come on, Cody. It's my birthday. Let me have that. Of miniature equine mm. aficionados. He produces many a wine out of nowhere spell and is drunk every day before noon. He is only half aware of his uncle's battle. This is a real freaking embarrassment. The aviary scoot around here. Perch on everything perfect. Carving the yard, car, roof and all, in hawker like bird waste. And of course, the lessons. Every bird revels in the madness it is inducing on Uncle Salt Fork. The house under the building in bird shit. Now pushes the uncle to burn anything that is represented on paper. 
carry through a cloud of wizard men. Boomers! Stealthily pinched Valium from the evil ants, notices his uncle, Ray. One morning, while oh, Dolphin... We need a pyro downstairs more than anything else. Let's shoot your respect. Ray half-heartedly to his uncle's plan of a giant cat to be unleashed Whoa. upon his Oh man, you almost had me, Dash. Harry's attention is drawn to the wind. Come on, move it up! Um, Harry could almost cry at this simple gift to me. If it weren't for these awful people, he would cry. But he must not show weakness, or else they'll hand him his hand. He tries to focus on the yard and the birds, and why are they trying oh to contact him? These facts make their way in through the jungle of consciousness. Just go! This, as a veritable How do they all get in here? Propelled letters issues no, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. This is the moment. I must make my own no no masking of a snowstorm. And I will take what one letter doing? into my room uh, uh, and uh, uh, my horses and see what they think. Oh, how the wine talks. But Harry cannot see the tiny door. Even impeded by the onslaught of the spawn doors. Totally bonkers Uncle Porkstar crashes down on Harry. Our idiot soldier won't move on with the intel, and if we don't defend him, we're gonna kill him from just here. Harry at the drunken bottom of the depression. It's not really strong camping in this case. Formidable foe, mind slave. Chapter 4. A crushing blue night lays upon the sleeping corpse as Harry, awake and active, plays out his happiest of sad moments. Sighs. His birthday, of course. But who could care? Especially out here, where love is dashed upon the rocks like a rose given as an insincere apology. Love. Don't get stuck on it, Harry. Make a wish upon it. Upon the star. But blam! Too far. Blam! Blam! At the door. The poor town family scuttles into position. But what busts in the door is far more than expected. No! It is hang on the horrible, the nightmare of care. A wall of a man, but buried under his woolen chest is a heart Yo, that I'd fire. trust a baby. On the way. After cutting the door, Hagar turned.